The new EU tyre label. From May 1, 2021, it will provide consumers with more comprehensive information about selected tyre characteristics. What's going to change? The new regulation covers C1, C2 and C3 tyres. The rolling resistance and wet braking performance classes have been restructured, while noise performance is now indicated by the number of decibels and the letters A, B or C. And there's a QR code with which end users can access information about their chosen tyre on the new EU database. Another new feature are two pictograms that indicate the tyre suitability for running on snow or ice. Where can you find all the information about the EU label in future? You'll find both the EU tyre label and the product information sheet on the EPREL database. The product information sheet shows all the label classes for the specific tyre as well as a little more information about the tyre. And what does this mean for you as a dealer? From May the 1st onwards, you need to show your customers the EU label before making a sale. The product information sheet can be called up with the QR code on the EU label, which contains a link to the EPREL website. Only on request do you have to provide it in printed form. At the point of sale, the EU label must be displayed on or next to the tyre on show. In mail shots or online sales, it is sufficient to show the label close to the price. In telemarketing-based distance selling, the end user must be informed about the classes for each of the parameters on the tyre label and that they can access the tyre label and the product information sheet on a free-of-charge website. With batches of identical tyres, one printed EU tyre label per tyre type must be shown to the end user. In general, if the tyre offered for sale is not visible to the end user at the time of the sale, a copy of the EU label must be provided. Please note that in visual advertisements and technical promotional material, the EU tyre label for the specific tyre must in future be displayed. By the way, it's possible that you could still receive tyres from us with the old EU label. If you receive such tyres before May the 1st, they are not subject to the new regulation. If you receive such tyres after May the 1st, they were manufactured before this date, then placed on the market and put in storage before being delivered to you. In either case, you are allowed to sell these tyres with the old EU tyre label. How can we help you? By keeping you up to date with developments. We'll update you directly via our own communication channels or our field sales representatives. We'll make sure you have all the new label classes and information in good time. And if you have any questions, we'll be happy to help.